Hi, Hus School family. I have a story for you today, and it is called The Perfect Square. I thought we could read a book about a shape since we're learning about shapes this week. So this story is called The Perfect Square, and it was written by Michael Hall. It was a perfect square. It had four matching corners and four equal sides. Let's count. Two, three, four. And see how they're all the same size? That means it makes it a square because they're all equal. It means all the same. And it was perfectly happy. Look at that big smile. But on Monday, the square was cut into pieces and poked full of holes. It wasn't perfectly square anymore. So it made itself into a fountain that babbled and giggled and clapped. Look at that. On Tuesday, the square was turned, torn into scraps. It's all torn up. So it made itself into a garden. Look, they're like flowers. On Wednesday, the square was shredded into strips. What do you think he's gonna turn into? So, it made itself into a park. On Thursday, the square was shattered. So, it made itself into a a bridge. On Friday, the square was snipped into ribbons. Look at those edges, they're like zigzag. So, it made itself into a river. Look at there's fish jumping out of it. On Saturday, the square was crumpled and ripped and wrinkled. See all the wrinkles in it? So, it made itself into a mountain. On Sunday, the square waited to see what was next. It waited and waited, but nothing happened because it's still a square, see? Its four equal sides were confining. Its four matching corners were rigid and cramped. Do you know what confining means? Confining means kind of keeping in like a closed space. So sometimes you guys might um, put your blankets over you and you squeeze them tight like you're confining yourself to your blankets. But look, he's sad. He doesn't want to stay in the same shape. He liked when he was changing. So, it made itself into a window. That looked out on a mountain that gave birth to a river that was crossed by a bridge that led to a park that was home to a garden that had at its center a fountain that babbled and giggled and clapped. The end. So our story was about a square that was really happy with being a square. And then he got changed. He got crumpled or torn or cut up and things like that and he changed into different things like rivers and a mountain and a bridge all kinds of things and he didn't want he liked the change he liked being able to change his shapes and stuff so he did and he made himself into a window so he could see all those things that he made himself into very cool huh we are going to be learning about a lot more shapes but this is one of them and it is a square and look even my book is a perfect square yeah, it has four equal sides. They're all the same. 
All right, friends, I hope you liked our story. Like I said, we're gonna be learning about shapes this week. I'm very excited for you guys. Um, we'll be talking about shapes a lot. Um, so that's why I wanted to read you a story about shapes, okay? I will see you guys again soon, and I hope you liked it. Bye.